So there I was in the rehab hospital eating horrible food and basically wanting to sleep all the time. So one of the things, so my day was basically have breakfast, get up, and go to the bathroom, but you have to have someone help you do that. You can't just get up and go to the bathroom. Another thing that kind of sucks. Um, and get changed. And there you are. They wheel you into the, your first rehab session, which could be any number of things. One would be physical rehab or um, verbal speech rehab because I couldn't really talk. Uh, all, Or it could be just a support group because there were stroke support groups. So my physical rehab basically uh, consisted of me going to a physical therapist, whom they were really wonderful for me, and getting me to sort of move my legs and move my arms and try and just negotiate myself around the world. Uh, it started with laying on your back and having to do sort of exercises with your legs and your arm, and then sort of trying to, to walk. They would stand me, and I would have um, several of them help me stand, um, a belt around my waist in order to, uh, so they can hold on to secure me and just sort of walk. Now, this was very difficult for me to walk because I couldn't see the world very well. It moved a lot. So, uh, and my vertigo was pretty intense, so it was very choppy, very difficult. Um, I had to hold on to things, they had to hold on to me. But the thing is that they walked me. As difficult as it was, it was necessary to do. Otherwise, I wasn't going to get any better. I was actually going to get worse if I didn't move around. Um, the other thing was speech therapy. Speech therapy was kind of frustrating. One of the things they didn't want me to do was strain myself when I talked. To talk quietly, as quietly as possible. They also taught me how to you know, blow on paper, say words, and all this kind of stuff. It was very... Um, it took some time, basically strengthening my voice. And again, both the walking and the voice were all about trying to use what didn't work. So in a sense, they were actually doing the right things. Um, now, also, I had work for my hand, um, and that was basically with occupational therapy, using it, just trying to use the arm as much as possible. The thing that, uh, you know, putting pegs, round pegs and round holes, or trying to fold laundry, uh, trying to just pick things up and move them, they were very good about that. That was actually a very good thing to do, is to just actually use the parts that didn't work. Um, now, the thing that was very difficult was the fatigue level. I mean, you had, your attention span was almost nil. Um, because you just wanted to either close your eyes or go away. You didn't want to see anyone. So they actually were in your face most of the time, which was actually good too. Um, so after the therapy session, which usually lasts 30, 40 minutes, you'd be wheeled back to your room and I'd just want to sleep. But then they'd come back and say, okay, time for something else. Now, one of the most difficult ones were the uh, support groups. You were put in a room with a bunch of other stroke victims, all of us in wheelchairs. And the room, unbelievable, was very hot. It was warm in there. And you had a person talking to you about your stroke, and they never had a stroke, so they didn't really fully understand what you were going through, and everyone was sleeping. All they wanted to do was sleep. You looked around, and everyone was closing their eyes and in the wheelchair falling asleep. That was 30 to 40 minutes. Kind of tough. Now, the other thing was the visitors, which were great. Usually it was in the afternoon, uh, because the morning was filled up with this rehab session. Um, my wife would come visit me, friends would come visit me, and to tell you the truth, a lot of people came to visit me and I forgot some of them. Uh, I forgot a lot of what was going on back then. Um, and that's for another time.